Alright, Shalom. Shalom. Alright, we are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, do another video through the Spirit of Power, Yahweh, Shem Alright, uh, but first and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the leaders of Israel today, whether you people can see it or not. Alright, and uh, also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who may be listening to all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right. Uh, and also, uh, uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. The world calls God Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. All right. And Baha Shem is in the name. The world called Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right. Uh, and Lord willing, the video will be edified. All right. So we're going to open up with uh, 1 Corinthians 7. In verse 31 and, uh, and they uh, this first Corinthians chapter 7 verse 31 says and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away all right the fashion of this world is is, is passing away all right you know um, us being uh, us so-called black Hispanic Native Americans being um, being the um, to, at, at the bottom, all right. It's not gonna be like this for too much longer, all right. Um, you got, you got. Um, um, it, it says, um, it's a lot here. It says, and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passes away, all right. And the fashion of this world is, is, is going to pass away, all right. As, as we once knew it, all right. You got um, the so-called white man in rulership, all right. You got, um, you, you got people um, worshiping LeBron James. You know they worshiping these these so-called celebrities all right but in, in in the kingdom of come all right the 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 whole full elect the 144,000 and the one third we we're we going to be the uh the, the new rulers all right we're going to be the so-called celebrities the lord said he's going to give us fame throughout the earth okay so the, this world is, is going to pass away all right and and, and you uh, putting your all into this world is a waste of time all right because it's prophesied that 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 america that America will be destroyed by by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, and we see the signs, we see the times. All right, you see um, stores closing. All right, you got um, the AM, AM, AMC theater, you know, shutting down. They said you could rent it out for ninety nine dollars uh, for ninety nine dollars. Hey, so these are the times that that, that we living in. All right, and it's time to be setting your affections on the things that, that that's um that on things that's to come. All right, not on this earth. All right. Yes. This is Colossians chapter three, verse one. If 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 ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. All right, and, you know, and spiritually we we we've, we've risen. All right, we've uh, we've uh, rise from the dead spiritually. All right, you know, and we and you know we, we're up on high. You know, we're up, we're up on a spiritual high, all right? You know, because, you know, we're higher than the two-thirds, man. All right? You know, through the, through the power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, all right? We've, we've risen spiritually, you know, to uh, to be above, <clears throat> you know, uh, to be above what society puts out, all right? You know, we're, we're above the wickedness, all right? You know, and, and we're spiritually, we're looking down, you know, uh, observing everything that's going on. All right, and verse two, it says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. All right, you know, so our affections should be on the kingdom of heaven, on the kingdom of heaven. All right, you know, things above, man. All right, spiritual powers. All right, you know, uh, having, uh, owning planets. All right, you know, that's that's what our mind, mind frame should be on, man. All right, not things of this world, you know, because uh, like, 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 like we just read, the fashion of this world is going to pass away. All right, the earth abide forever, you know. But this rulership, this kingdom, all right, is going to pass away. Man. Uh, the rulership of Esau is going to pass away. All right, and this is Philippians three and twenty. It reads, "For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach." All right, so now our conversation should be in heaven. You know, um, when we fellowship, 
You know, when we get together after camp, you know, we 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 um talking spiritual things. We we talk about the kingdom of heaven. You know, what what type of uh, how much women we gonna have? You know, um, what kind of houses we gonna have? We we gonna have houses underwater? You know, we gonna have house houses in in, in, in the midst of in, in the midst of the jungle because the Lord says um, that the animals will will be at peace with thee. All right, and it says um, and also our conversation in heaven. You know, we talking about you know how how we gonna um, treat our slaves. You know how 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 we gonna whoop each our ass. Hey, so our conversation should be in heaven. You know, our conversation should always be carnal. Shouldn't always be um, about you know. Um, you, you watch that NBA Finals. You seen LeBron James snap. You know, our conversation shouldn't always be about that stuff. You know, our conversation should be in heaven for a uh, majority of, 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 of the talks, all right? Because the fashion of this world is, is going to pass away, you know? So we, we got we to gotta think towards the future, all right? Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse, I started at verse 7. Then answer I and said, what shall be the parting of sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. You know that was uh, symbolizing, you know, us, you know, bringing down the kingdom of uh, of, of Esau, man. All right, which is the so-called white man today, man. All right, you know, we're bringing down his kingdom through the words of Yahweh Shah. All right, that's why he blocks our videos. All right, that's why he has us on the hit list. All right. All right, because we're, we're prophesying that their kingdom is going to fall, and they're and they're going to go into slavery, man. All right, in the scripture saying we uh, we break down the strongholds, you know, we break down the lies that Esau been telling us that, that we evolved uh, from monkeys, you know, that the so-called blacks they came from Africa. Hey, but we breaking down, you know, the lies through the spirit and power of Yahweh by shot. You know, John eight and thirty two, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You know, and the truth has set us free from the lies that Esau has been. Um, it's stealing in us um, since slavery. In verse 9, Second Ezra 6 and 9 says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right, so that's how we know we're at the end. All right, because Esau, he's in rulership. All right, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob was the so called black, experience and Native Americans. All right, that, that's the beginning of this, of this new world. All right, a new age. All right, you know, because Esau, he he has a, uh, he's tainted everything, man. All right, so everything uh, has to be new again, new and fresh. So this Matthew six and nineteen, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. You see, so that's why you should be setting your affections on things above, because they, like the brother said, everything in this um, earth has been tainted. All right, you get a certain amount of riches. Esau can take it. You know, look at Bill Cosby. You know, he, he had all the money in the world, but but look at him. You know, he's in prison, you know, for the rest of his life. All right, so, and, and um, Mike Tyson, and I remember watching a video from um, Elder Apostle Gavar where um, Mike Tyson, he had all his heavyweight um, championships, and he was like, this shit's mean nothing, you know, so, Hey, this the, the the things that Esau can give you, you know, has been tainted. You know, um, look look at our food. You know, you, you think that you're eating a, a five course meal, but really it's a one course meal. You know, you think that you're eating a good steak. You think that you're eating good vegetables. Hey, but all that shit is um, GMO. All right, it, it's it's been cloned. All right, so you gotta lay your treasures up in heaven because because Yahweh Shai, you know, he's gonna give us everything new. All right. Uh, we're not going to be walking on, on, on concrete, right? We're going to be walking on gold. You know, the, um, instead of our houses being made out of wood, it's going to be made out of stone, you know? So you got to set your affections on things above, all right? Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have to worry about um, another um, another Israelite stealing your wealth. You're not going to not gonna have to worry about locking your door because ain't nobody going to break into it, all right? And, it, and it, even if somebody tried to, Hey, you're gonna have spiritual powers. You know, you're gonna be you, you're gonna be like uh we're gonna be all we all gonna be many most highs. Alright? Uh, this is Tobit chapter 13 and verse 
15, I started at 15. Let me start at 14. So okay, let me start at uh, let me start at 12. Tobi chapter 13 verse 12 says, "Cursed are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever." All right, you know, cursed are they that that hate Yahweh Shem All right, and who hates Yahweh Shem All right, Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, these other nations. All right, and two thirds. That's why they're gonna. They're gonna that's why they're gonna be put to death. All right, but two thirds they are gonna come back in the kingdom. All right, in verse uh, thirteen it says, "Rejoice and be glad, for the children of the just." Uh, let me read that again. Rejoice and re rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, for they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the just. You know the elect. All right, it says, "Oh, blessed are they which love thee." For they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges. For they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. And that goes back into Luke, Luke the sixth chapter. You know, uh, you know, um, want to get that real quick? Luke the sixth chapter? Yeah. 25. Laugh now, Carla. That's probably two verses. Okay. Um, it's Luke chapter 6, and I started at 24. Sex that started at 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Right, the just, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're, we're still going to have that slight fear, all right, because we're in this flesh. All right, but if you're doing if you're doing what you need to do, if you're being diligent, if you're being diligent, all right, the Lord is going to reward you. All right, you know. So the when we see the coming of Yahweh Shai, all right, you know, in us is going to be slight fear, but in us is going to be that rejoicing, man. All right, you know. All right, you know. For in like manner did their fathers unto the the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. All right, you know, those that are laughing now, you know, the scriptures say, scorners delight in their scorning, man. All right, we see it all the time on the highways and byways. All right, when people, when Esau, or even Jake, you know, they walk by, they scoff. You know, they, they enjoy, they enjoy their scoffing. You know, they, they may come back, uh, a, a second time and a third time just to scoff because they, they, they enjoy it. All right, scorners delight in their scorning. All right, um, can you read that again? What well, says, uh, those that laugh now? All right, it's Luke 6 and 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall. More and weep. Right, man. All right. Woe to you that uh that that laugh now you shall uh mourn and weep, man. All right, and we're gonna uh, what did, did it say anything about those that are sorrowful now? Six and twenty-five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. All right. Woe, woe unto you that woe unto you that are full, man. All right. You know, I seen a a, a post by LeBron James. You know, right after winning the finals, you know, he he back at his home. You know, watching uh, Michael Jordan. All right, saying you know he you know staying focused. All right. You know that's how we are with this truth. All right, but that, that that's a that's the. Uh, you know, that's the that's the content of Jake. Alright, you know, worshiping uh basketball, man. I think this is what you're talking about. 21. 22 or 21. I'm gonna read um Luke 6 and 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Alright, that's the alert, man. We're weeping, man. Alright, through the spirit we are weeping. We're going out to the highways and byways. Alright, said in Proverbs, wisdom cry without. Are right, we out there, you know, uh, crying out, man? Crying out to the elect and to the heavenly Father. All right. Yes. Sir.
Uh, this is Tobit uh, chapter 13 and uh, I'll read verse 14 again it says oh blessed are they which love thee for they shall rejoice in thy peace truth shall make us free all right, it says blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges for they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever all right you know we're sorrowful in the scourges that that Yahweh Shemesh has brought unto us man all right, but what is two thirds doing? They're there. The, the, this is this is their kingdom. Slavery is, is two thirds kingdom. Right? All right, verse fifteen says, "Let my soul bless the Most High, the Great King, for Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold, and the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir." And all her streets shall say hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be the Most High, which hath extolled it forever. You know, that's why our affection should be on things above, man. All right, what what place in in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in Babylon or any place that's, that's residing here today, what place is paved with gold, man? You know, nothing, man. All right, that's why the kingdom is going to be so, so, so much of a high level. All right, that's why we should be setting our affections on the kingdom, man. All right, you know, constantly, you know, staying in the spirit, you know, doing videos when the spirit is on you. All right, you know, prophesying the downfall of this place so we can usher in the kingdom of, of the how about Shemiah All right, especially if you're doing, if you're doing the work, man. All right, how much, how much more in the kingdom we're going to be uh, governors and rulers, man. All right, you know, we're going to be like, we're going to be like these celebrities, but a thousand times better. All right, it's uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, so and we ain't supposed to love this world. All right, it ain't talking about, hey, you're not supposed to love your, your, your woman. You're not supposed to love your children. Hey, you're supposed to love them, but you're not supposed to put that love over the Heavenly Father. You know, you're not supposed to um, not do videos, not go out to the highways and byways. Because because your children don't want you to, because your woman don't want you to, so that's what it's talking about. Love not the world, neither the things in the world. We shouldn't put anything in this world over the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, because the, the Lord He 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 um preordained us from the from the belly of the womb. Yahweh Shai He died on the cross. You know He He died on the cross for us. All right, for this is Matthew chapter ten verse thirty seven. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me see so that's what it's talking about you know you're not supposed to love your family you're not supposed to love your woman you're not supposed to love your kids you're not supposed to love your mom or dad more than the most high all right you can't uh you can't pick and choose all right um the most high comes first hey then it don't matter what's second you know, it don't matter which third. As long as you put in the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son first, hey, that's, that's, that's all that matters, all right? And that's what the Lord expects out of us, all right? But it's First John 2 and 15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You know, so if you put in those things over the, over, over um, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, all right, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, when Yahweh Shai, when he turned 12, hey, um, when he was in the church and he was preaching, he was preaching to the people. His mother, his, his mother came in. You know, he said, he, um, he said that um, about my father's business. Yeah, he about his father's business. You know, so if we disciples, if we if we disciples and we follow after the Yahweh Shai, then we got to do the same thing. All right. And um, sixteen for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away in the in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. Alright, and that's what and, and, and that's us, Lord willing. You know, we we doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Alright, we um making our call in the election sure. Alright. And and, and and we um hoping that um and we hoping that and we hoping that we don't receive that death by pain. Alright? That's why we making these videos. Alright, that's why we follow the law of such commandments. That's why we keep the Sabbath holy. That's why we go out to the highways and byways, and no nobody else on the 
face of the earth is doing that. All right, not the so-called Jews. All right, not the Arabs. All right, nobody on the face of the earth is doing the will of the Father, you know, but the hopeful elect. All right. This is Second Peter chapter one and verse ten. It says, "Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make a calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never, never fall." All right, you know that that's setting your your affections on the things above, man. All right, standing in the spirit, doing doing your videos. All right, because the Lord said He's going to come back and give a reward to to uh, to uh, to according to your doings. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, uh, we'll get Matthew six sixteen and twenty seven. This is Matthew 16, I'm sorry, 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Right, well, man. What, what profit is that? You know, you know, check out the celebrities. You got Floyd Mayweather, all right? You know, the LeBron James and so on and so forth. All right, they, they've sold their, their soul to the society, whether people can receive it or not, all right? You know, they, 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 they sacrifice their moral, their moral, um, What's the word like moral uh morality? Yeah, they sacrifice their their morality, all right, things that they know is wrong, but they do it anyway, all right, for the riches. You know, but what profit is that really? All right, they they're just gonna die and then and then just be reborn. Alright, so what real profit is it for you to sell out to Esau? Alright, besides death. That's your only that's your only profit is death. Uh, Matthew six, let me start at twenty five. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right, and, that, and that's and that's what we doing. All right, through the spirit of how you have my mouth shot. It says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right, and and that's and that's what we doing. You know, we we um we're losing. Oh, Salakia, oh Salakia, verse twenty five. For whoever for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Salakia. That's that's what the celebrities doing. All right, LeBron James, Floyd Mayweather, you know, they seeking to save their life, but really they're, they're, they're losing their life. And it says that whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And that's what we doing. All right, we, we killing that old man. You know, we um, sacrificing our whole life, you know, so, so we can get, so, so we can be uh, renewed. All right, and, uh, 26. For what is a man profit? He shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? All right, no, nothing's, nothing's worth, um, nothing's worth your soul. Nothing's worth um, um, to 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 be that first, to be the first, the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven. All right, um, twenty seven is yours. Twenty seven. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. All right, man. He shall reward every man. All right, a reward can be good or bad. All right, you know, so he's, you know, your reward is going to be. All right, salvation beamed up on the chariots. All right, that's the hope for Alex's uh, reward. All right, or your reward is going to be uh, death by pain. All right, famine, the sword. All right, uh, or the worst, the worst of the worst, uh, nuclear missiles, man. All right. Yeah. Well, I have one more. Uh, Second Peter chapter uh, one and verse eleven says, "For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly." Into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, and uh, let me just read verse twelve. All right, so that interest, but that interest is going to be given to those that that diligently, you know, being persistent, man. All right, Dil diligently making your call and election sure. All right, and we got the prime examples, uh, the apostles and elders. All right, of Great Millstone. All right, they 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 constantly make their call and election sure. All right, by putting out these videos. All right, going out to the highways and byways consistently, man. Even at an older age, all right, something that these other uh, camp leaders they don't do, man. All right, they don't do that consistently. All right, and make it a priority, man. All right, but in verse twelve says, "Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye may know them and be established in the present truth." All right, the Lord is not going to put away our works. All right, unless you fall out, if you fall out, all right, your works is erased, man. It means nothing. 
all right but if you diligently do this truth all right to the end and endure to the end all right then you then your works will follow the lord's he said that he's not unrighteous to forget our labor of work so in this Hebrews 6 and 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do this. All right, so the Lord, he's not unrighteous, you know, forget our, our works, all right? He knows this is hard, you know, hard labor, man, all right? You know, it's not a burden, you know, we enjoy doing it, all right? But to balance out with uh, Babylon and, you know, and doing these videos, all right, it's not easy, man. That's why... That's why people fall out, all right? If it was easy, nobody would fall out, all right? And, you know, could we come into the truth? The scriptures say, prepare yourself for temptations, all right? So a lot of people can't handle the temptation. You know, they can't, um, they, they, because every day you have to kill off that old man. You know, uh, family go, might come up against you. Your woman might come up against you. You know, your mom and dad, all right? But all this is in the scriptures, you know? And, and if it was easy, you know, like your brother said, nobody will fall out. But, you know, the Lord, um, nothing in this world is easy. You know, so what more the best um, gift that you can receive? You know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, being beat up on the chariots. You know, just like if you're playing, um, you're trying out for football or you're trying out for basketball. You know, that's not easy. You know, th those tryouts, you know, those practices are not easy. But, but, um, but, but, you, but well, once you get in that game and, and, and you win that game, you know, it, it's all worth it. You know, and that's the same thing in this truth. You know, um, reading, studying, you know, watching videos, going out to the highways and byways. You know, it can give, it can give. Um, you know, your flesh can get tired, but you know, we have to fight through that. You know. Also, um, you can read that again. All right, Hebrews six and ten. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right, you know, and that also goes back to that penny. All right, the Lord, you know, because the Lord, in that parable, you know, the uh, even the, the people that he hired first, all right, and the people that he hired towards the end, all right, you know, but he gave them all that, that same penny, all right, and that penny represents the kingdom, man, and that's what we fight him for, right? All right, so, um, uh, we're going to close out on that and we pray that this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect and we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rokakwadash. Also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's been laboring in his work in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom Makim and also Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. Lord willing to the next lesson, we're going to say Shalom, and the water y'all about Shemel Shah for putting the spirit on us to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, Shalom, and the Bible of all. Bible of all. Shalom.